and it starts with the discussion of something called the explanatory memorandum. How many of you guys have heard of that term before? All right, for those of you who sat through this before, I hope you've already heard it before. Um, this was a document that was first authored in 1991. And we never would have known about this if it wasn't for the fact that we had an observant, um, I think it was a Maryland, or a, uh, a uh, I think it was a Maryland uh, uh, traffic, uh, anyway, a, a trooper responsible for the uh, um, Port Authority, that's what it was, a Port Authority um, a law enforcement officer was observing this woman in, in a uh, characteristic uh, Arab garb taking photos of uh, the Chesapeake Bay Bridge and the supports. And uh, she was, uh, he, he investigated and uh, found out that the driver of the vehicle that she was in um, was actually being, uh, was somebody that was, had some outstanding warrants for support for Hamas. And uh, they ended up taking um, the uh, Elbras, Elbras uh, family um, back home and investigating down their basement and uh, found out that they had a sub-basement beneath their basement that was hidden and in it were, were the archives of an organization called the Muslim Brotherhood. And there were 80 boxes of documents in there and among the documents that were in there is something called an explanatory manner of memorandum. And what this is is essentially a strategic plan for something called civilization jihad. So when you talk about asymmetric warfare, you're starting to talk about things get a little cloudy, right? There isn't a blue versus red. This is their plan for civilization jihad. How do you go off and invade a country like the United States with the most powerful military in the world? You do it from within. And they take advantage of the holes in the wall that we've left because we, don't, we can't fight that type of warfare anymore because our kids are not equipped. We're not equipped. Frankly, I was not equipped for the first 40 years of my life because I was not plugged in on our system of government and civics. I took for granted that the people who are up here representing us in government were actually representing us in government, and unfortunately, too many of them are representing themselves. And so we have to get active about actually informing ourselves about how government really works and what are these moral foundations, what are these values that we hold dear? Because there are some people with values that are significantly different from us that are going to instill their values if we're not watchful. And so it all starts here, and I'm going to use this explanatory memorandum as the organization for this uh, presentation. And in it, it talks specifically about this term, civilization jihad. Now, I, you know, uh, Dr. Haney framed this discussion uh, pretty well from the constitutional framework and the sovereignty. What I want to do is actually take this explanatory memorandum and then show examples of where I've seen some of the tactics that they outline in this memorandum um, actually bearing fruit here in the United States and here in the state of Michigan specifically. And uh, it should send a chill up your spine, and, but it's, it's intended to go off and promote awareness. We are not defenseless on this stuff here. Um, we have information, we just got to share it with the people around us, right? All right, so I, I, uh, how many of you guys have heard of Frank Gaffney? Yeah. Oh, that was a pretty good exercise for everybody. All right, that was good. <laughs> Frank, Frank Gaffney does a very good 10 part series on the Muslim Brotherhood on YouTube. If you get a chance to watch it, I highly recommend it. A lot of the material that you'll find in that series is actually in the DVD, uh, The Enemy Within, by uh, Trevor Loudon. And um, he broke it out in this jihad into several different phases. And, and the phases aren't important because I could apply this, this generic set of phases to any campaign that I put together, maybe even a political campaign or a campaign for governor or something like that, with slightly different terms for some of the stuff that's out there. Um, but it's the same basic idea. Number one, you go off and establish your leadership. And this explanatory memorandum is a whole list of organizations that um, for everything from education to, um, uh, to uh, government to uh, uh, obviously religion and all these other areas, that every fabric of society, every component of society that makes up our fabric of society, they had an organization covering that base and the wraparound organization for all of it is the Muslim Brotherhood. So the first thing that they want to do is establish those organizations. The next thing is, 
They have a gradual appearance on the public scene and start exercising various public activities. So you start getting a little bit of brand awareness with what's going on with some of these organizations. They start getting more active socially. The next phase is they have a little bit of an escalation. Um, it's not quite uh, at the conflict stage, but they start confronting and start questioning things openly and in public. In phase four, now they're getting into the open public confrontation. And I think a good example of this is what you're seeing with that caravan, right, that's coming up here. And Dr. Haney talked about this red-green alliance. That's, that same alliance, by the way, occurred back during World War II. Hitler with the uh, Nazis was actually chummy with the, uh, the socialists at the time. And he, uh, when he saw the opportunity to kick them out of power and scoot in, that's exactly what he went off and did. Um, they, they, they're going to do the same thing. There's something called the Red-Green Alliance that's happening, and it's, uh, it's where the left is getting together with the, with the Muslim Brotherhood to um, form a partnership. And, and when you look at their values on it, there's some serious discrepancies on some of the individual values, but they look the wrong one. They, look, they keep a blind eye to that for the end game. And then the last phase is getting into the idea of seizing power. Now, the whole idea of a caliphate, you've probably seen it. How many of you guys have watched Glenn Beck talking about the caliphate, northern Africa, all the way through Arab? Well, when you actually see the logo for the Muslim Brotherhood, it's not limited to northern Africa and Arabia. It is a green globe. It's the whole globe they're looking for. And this explanatory memorandum specifically is talking about how they're going to color North America green. 